Hi, Sagittarians. I hope that you're all well. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers. You guys, you're absolutely amazing. If you are new to the channel, please go ahead, hit subscribe, stay with us, and then you can keep up with the videos as they come out. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? The, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So the messages are not going to resonate for everybody, okay, because they are general, but take what does and leave the rest, okay? Don't try and make it fit to your story if it doesn't. Um, for those of you that have been booking private readings, thank you so much. It has been so much fun reading for people from all over the world um, and getting to know you guys. It's just incredible. Um, for those that would like a private reading, feel free to book on my website. You can find the link in the description box below. And that being said, let's get into this for you. What have we got for Sagittarians, please? Spirit, what's happening with Sagittarian? So I'm feeling like everything seems okay. Like I don't feel any negative or bad energy at the moment. I feel like, yeah, perfect. Yeah, there we go. I feel like there's um, a nice stable energy here. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? And I've also got the Hierophant, which also represents Taurus, okay? So some of you may uh, also have earth in your chart or the individual that you're dealing with has earth in their chart. And maybe most recently you got married. And if so, congratulations, because um, this card speaks of somebody who already has been married or is married and usually a parent, okay? Uh, so there could be children involved, but definitely somebody who's stable, grounded, loving, committed. This is a committed individual. And interestingly enough, let's talk about commitment because that's what the Hierophant speaks of as well is commitment. So maybe if there hasn't been a marriage as of late, um, maybe you've just gotten into a committed relationship. Wow, nice. Congratulations, Sagittarians. It's also about um, spirituality or uh, beliefs and values and maybe you've met somebody that aligns very well with your values and belief systems nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that let's see what the foundation of this reading is about please spirit for Sagittarius the foundation right moving from rough waters into calmer waters or basically leaving the past behind because the individual in this boat doesn't have any baggage with them. Um, so perhaps you've moved into a better place in the relationship, which is fantastic. And that could very well be this Hierophant card here, which is stating that you've moved to a higher level of commitments. That's exciting. And if it's if some of you live at a distance from each other, Perhaps you were able to travel and see each other as of late, which is really great, especially with the travel ban starting to lift now. But uh, yeah, maybe you guys were able to bridge the gap between the distance. Oh, I love it. Yes, the next card that came out, perhaps you're dealing with a Leo, okay? Because the next card that came out was strength, and this is in the recent past. So somebody found the courage inside and the strength to make this happen. Maybe it was about trying to find a way to approach the individual, um, or maybe just the relationship itself came to a stronger point in which both were feeling good and confident enough to be able to find the stability to make it work. That is incredible, you guys. Yes, because didn't I just say about making it work? <laughs> That's incredible. This is the three of pentacles. This is about coming together and cooperating. This is about working on something together, which in what I'm getting from this is the relationship. So if some of you may have uh, just recently reconciled, congratulations, because it seems as though you're working together, you're cooperating. And as of late, it looks as though the relationship is in a very strong point right now. So congratulations for that. Seriously. That makes me so happy. What's coming up in the near future for the Sagittarians, please? Near future for the Sagittarians. We got strength, we got cooperation. Yes! If some of you are not a parent as of yet, you might be. <laughs> 
Uh, you could also be dealing with another fire sign in Aries because this is the emperor, which represents Aries. And yeah, there you could be, this represents fatherhood. So maybe that's what this three of pentacles is. Perhaps there's going to be a little one along the way. Aww, if so, congratulations. But this also speaks to being on top of your world and having it all. So if um, if there's a business that you have, it's funny. I, I find that a lot of Sagittarians uh, seem to work for themselves, or at least the ones that I meet. So uh, it looks as though things are going to be going very well in the business department. And you're going to be feeling on top of the world, taking control getting things all together and organized just the way that you need it. Your life is coming together. And what I like about it is, is if I put this card down, <clears throat> you can see how the emperor is looking at all of this. So he is looking at it and making it happen. And he feels proud. Like I'm getting a proud sense. Like things are good. Things are good. That is fantastic. Let's see your energy at the moment, please. Energy for Sagittarians, please. Energy for Sagittarians, please, Spirit. Okay, Five of Swords. Now, normally this is about an empty victory, but what I like in this deck is I really get a strong feeling of just cutting out the bull, butter, the nonsense, the things that no longer serve you. And basically, it works. <laughs> it, it's... Sometimes you have to state your piece, like, look, this is what I will tolerate, and this is what I won't tolerate, which comes from the strength card. There you go. And I really feel that a lot of the nonsense before that used to may cause issues in situations has now been cut out, right? That is fabulous. Let us see what the energy is around you, please, spirit. See the energy around Sagittarians right now, please. Ten of Wands. Okay, laying down burdens. Things may have been a struggle for a while, right? Which makes sense as to why you had that Six of Swords in, in the past there as the foundation. So things may have been a struggle, but I'm getting that now you're coming out of all of those burdens. You're laying them down. You're not feeling as though you have the world, like the weight of the world on your shoulders to carry on your own. And maybe that came if some of you are business owners from letting some staff go that weren't carrying their weights. But again, this is about cutting out stuff that didn't serve. So possibly maybe even some of you have just gotten into a new relationship. And if so, congratulations, because you cut out the ones from the past that you no longer need that were dragging you down and it was making it feel like a burden, okay? Let's clarify the Five of Swords and, and Ten of Wands, please, Spirit. What has been released? Knight of Wands, yep, action. So this, the Knight of Wands can be an individual who shows up and goes, so they, they're not consistent, okay? So it's possible that now, you have that stability. Perhaps maybe you had a discussion about the um, unreliability of the individuals that you were dealing with, and now they're showing up based on the value system and what's important to you, which is being grounded and stable and consistent. And now it looks as though things are getting better. Good on you. What are the hopes and fears, please, Spirit, for the Sagittarians? Hopes and fears in this situation for Sagittarians, please. Hopes or fears, for that matter. The Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? So I think really that the fear is that you're going to be alone or maybe that this won't work out. But you know what? That's not at all what this is saying. If anything, I think it's going to be great because it's going to be a learning opportunity and not only a learning opportunity but it's a spiritual growth as well so there could be a very really special bond here as well that's also going to fuel your spiritual side and connecting you to your higher self right and perhaps even this is the hope that things are going to stay this way but you do have that hierophant which is commitment it looks as though the cooperation is here so there's nothing to worry about Looks as though lessons have been learned and good stuff is happening now for you guys. There has been growth here. And 
people have gotten wiser in this situation. Whatever this situation, apply it as you will. Wisdom has been obtained. I love it. And the outcome, please, for Sagittarius. Whoop. Let me just had a card that jumped down here. There we go. See, I told you not a thing to worry about. This is about putting the work in and being dedicated and focusing on all of the details. All of the details are just what we were talking about back here, which is, you know, how you want things to work, how to put the effort in to ensure that it goes successfully. So focusing on every pentacle to make things happen. Aw, and both are putting in the work here. Whomever it is that you're dealing with is putting in the work as well because this is teamwork, collaboration, and coming together to make something happen. So definitely, things are good here, Saj. Things are really good. And that makes me happy for you guys because I know for some of you, for a bit, there's a little touch and go. But it looks good. Let's get a clarification for the Eight of Pentacles, please. There it is. Didn't I say it? Here's that stable pentacles, and you got earth again. So knight of pentacles, trust, trust. Everything is okay, Sagittarians. No need to worry. No need to worry that things are going to get unstable or that you're going to be dealing with that in and out energy anymore because whomever this is, is in it for the long haul with you. Trust in it. Trust that they are laying down a stable, secure, well done. I just dropped it. the whole deck on the floor so no more clarification from them <laughs> but no this is coming together for you okay so keep your head up and keep going forward let's get you a postcard from spirit spirit what have you got for the sagittarians i like this reading this is a good reading i mean all of us have our our little fears and such especially from past experience but this just seems pretty darn good to me what have you got for the Sagittarius, please, Spirit? Ooh. This one wants to come out. It says, Dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you and we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. You don't have to do it all, right? There it is. There was that Ten of Wands. So you don't have to do it all. You've done your part. Now let us do ours. You would be awestruck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan. And when you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. Right? And that's why the partnership is happening now. You got to have that strength and you got to have that trust to believe in it. Holy. <laughs> that's cool. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember, though, spirit's timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us. Spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas of your life, right? Here we go. There's that eight of pentacles. And before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. We love you so much. Oh, that's amazing. I love this reading, you guys. Let me know um, if this resonates at all in the comments below. Sending you guys so much love, and I will see you again very soon. Have a great one. Bye, guys.